Hello guys, this video is show you the offset tool. If you're interested in learning plasticity quickly, be sure to check out my plasticity course on Udemy where you learn a bunch of cool stuff. I just had a new section on the Cyborg Ninja, so be sure to check that out. Let's continue. So you can simply press 1, 2, 3, 4 to switch to all the uh, sub-object levels. And also press uh, 5 for all of them. So you can go ahead and just simply press 3 to go to the face level. So now what you can do is select the face. You can press O to activate outline. As you can see, unlike with polygons, where it kind of folds in on itself, it does a pretty good job of simplifying itself as it gets smaller and smaller. Of course, the smaller it gets, the more drastic the shape difference is from the initial shape. But you can see, up to this point, we get a really nice effect right here. Uh, at this point, we can select you know, this face or that one, and we can extrude positively or negatively. We can even extrude all the way through to get this nice balloon effect going all the way through. So it's a, just a very powerful technique guys for getting you know, accidental designs. I know not everyone on this channel is into accidental designing, but I very much like it. So you know, we can do a little bit of that. And so then you can continue to model and design. Afterwards, you can select some of this and just the X to delete that. Sometimes, guys, you need to do things in the correct order. For example, if I select this and press X, notice that nothing happens. But if I select this, delete it, this face, and then this one, as you can see, it works. So sometimes, guys, it's just about the correct order of things. It seems to be that deleting the small fillets is the key, and they can delete the large ones here. So you can see, you can very easily create uh, different shapes than what initially we started with. So it's incredibly useful, guys, this tool. All right, let's create a, you know, let's create a cylinder, try it out on this. So I'll select this. Oh, we're going to outline. All right, let's see, I can select this. So useful for these kind of shapes here. All right, so if, if we select this face right here and press O, doesn't really seem to be working, but we can cut it in half, for example. So if I cut it, not, not in half, just like this, for example, I can select this, press C, select that. Now I can select this and press O. As you can see, it works now. Now I can select this and I can kind of uh, extra a little bit like this or all the way through. And now I can select this and uh, QQ it back together, for example. There we go. All right, we can press Alt-Z with this basic transparency mode. So remember, if you select on the right, everything will be selected that you hover over. But from the left, just whatever you have around, whatever you've completely surrounded, which means if I want these edges right here, instead of doing this, or instead of kind of carefully going around here and selecting that, which may take longer, I like to just go like that. And then quickly uh, fill up this or chamfer. One. So let's be a little bit more careful. One, holding shift to add to my selection and memory control to remove. We can quickly fill it there. All right, and then we can now uh, offset that. Then we can do further you know, offsets right here. If we uh, control Z, we can also do offsets here as well. So as you can see guys, 
using uh, offset and extrude allows you to create really cool designs that are very difficult with polygons or sculpting. Just this really nice abstract shapes right here. All right, guys, thank you for watching and take care.